hello welcome all let us see the conditional branching of programs and the if statements generally uh, the programs will execute in a sequential manner line by line from the beginning of the program till the end if you want to change the order of the execution of the statements or the functions that is possible using conditional branching within the program we will try this with uh, the help of a program we can use some variables okay let us see in a integer variable a and uh, one a reminder operate remainder variable one variable for storing the remainder clr scr screen clearing the screen okay enter a number and scan of percentage d and m percent a we are going to read the number and we are finding the modulus or the remainder of the number if it is divided by 2 so that number the user will give one number and th that number will be divided by 2 and the remainder will be stored in rem so we will see whether the remainder will be 0 or 1 so we are going to divide by 2 the at the most the remainder will be 1 or it can be 0 as well so we are going to check what will be the remainder we have only two possibilities of remainders either 0 or 1 we can use if statement if remainder equal to this is an operator for comparison so we should use double equal to here this is equal to operator or the assignment operator this is comparison operator we are going to compare this rem with a value zero bring the curly bracket down this is the style of programming in C okay. here we will give if remainder equal to 0 then we have to print So if a number is divided by 2 and if you are getting the remainder 0 then the number is going to be an even number. Percentage D, the number which you have ended is an even number. comma then we can give a a is the number ok if suppose this is not true then we have to go for the else condition and we have to give the out uh, results the output as print f within quotation percentage d is an odd number is an odd number and we have to give the number a here so we have one extra double quotation here. now it's okay if the condition equal to if condition is true if rem equal to 0 then we will be doing this one otherwise we will be doing this one so the program will execute only one of this statement either this print of or the second print of no way it will execute both the print of so we are making a condition
checking here if rem value if it is true then it will execute this area else it will execute the second part so let us run the program there is one error function call missing bracket exactly in the compiler it is saying that the bracket is missing the error is we need a bracket we need a comma here so mostly the compiler will not give the exact error message even then it will point the place where the error is showing so let us try it control f9 okay enter a number 3 3 is an odd number again 6 is an even number so we are getting only one print of being executed not both so we can have a control on our program which part should execute suppose in this program if you are not giving double equal to by mistake if you are giving single single equal to the program will not give any error i suppose for executing but logically it will make some mistakes it will give some wrong answers in the execution and it is not giving any error let me give an input 3 3 is an odd number it is saying I'm giving 4 4 is also an odd number according to this problem so it is giving a logically wrong answer in this program so normally it is not going to give any syntax error to overcome there is a technique if there is an error it should give the error error message then we will be in the safer side so i just shifted 0 equal to rem i brought the 0 to the other, si other side and the rem to this side so that let us combine now it is giving error l value required so this equal to operator cannot be oper uh, cannot be used like this if you are going for some cap comparison better to better to use the number value in the left side and the variable name in the right side so that it will be giving some it will be giving error message in case of we are missing an equal to operator so let us see working fine for 4 is an even number 3 is an odd number so this is the conditional operators conditional branching conditional branching in the C language program so this if is used to make a condition for executing which part of the program is going to be executed we will be having a 